I just came back from a rehearsal, so I'm feeling singy and music-y today, so... It's a good time to do a react. I hope you've been well. If you're new here, welcome for the first time. But if you're back, thank you for coming back, you know, for sticking around. So if you know me personally and have known me for any degree of time, you'll know that I'm a hoe for Spirit Box and I love Courtney with my entire being. So they just put out a new single called Soft Spine. So that's what I'm going to be reacting to today. Buckle in, boys. We're going to be in for a fun ride i feel like this song's gonna be really good because all their shit is really good so anyways we're just gonna go for it i love the boots already love the boots Love the silence. Yeah, I mean, I I really really like this this uh, choice of song for their newest single. I feel like their past like few singles have been as far as vocals. I feel like the past few few singles have been very like melodic heavy. Like she does a lot of singing. She always does screaming, but there was there has been a lot more melody. So I like that there was like no singing at all in this one. I think it was a good uh, a good change up from the the newer the other stuff that they've been doing. So I really really like that choice that it was like real noisy and he just like freaking heavy and uh which there's nothing wrong with doing the melodic stuff, but I think it's a good like contrast to what they've been doing like jaded and stuff. As a Spirit Box fan, like the guitar playing is so good because it's never crazy difficult, but it's, 
you know, it's catchy and it's difficult enough that it makes guitarists want to learn it still and cover the song. So it's, I don't know, like the, the, the synergy with which everybody in the band brings to how each song is created and how each part plays in with each other is just so good that it's all of their stuff is really good, at least to me, you know? So, um, I liked that there was a lot more noise in the guitar. The stuff before this single has been more melodic based in the guitar as well. At least to me, a good metal riff is knowing when to use palm muting, when to not palm mute certain notes, and how that plays in along with the drums and the bass and how it all fits together uh, really solidifies the groove. So I think for a good guitar riff, it's, it's a good combination of palm muting and open notes and like how melodic it is. It really depends. But I like that there was a lot of scrapes and pick scrapes and just noise that were used within that, like all the riffs, pretty much all the riffs in this song. So I really liked that because it's not, at least their newer stuff is, it's not like typical of, of him to use a ton of noise. Like it tends to be more clean, clean playing where it's melodic or there's palm muting rhythms and, but like you, the use of the noise in part of the riff, I always love um, which I feel Knocked Loose is really, uh, really does pretty well. So I like that they used that. I liked that it was really gritty, but it still had really good production quality. And yeah, I don't know. It was just a good contrast and switch up of to show people like we can do melodic, but we can also do just straight up heavy and in your face, which I mean, I think any Spirit Box fan, Spirit Box fan knows that they can do that, but it's, it's a nice... Uh, a nice little change from some of the recent singles. So, and I love the recent singles as well, but this is just like one of those songs that I'm probably going to just bump at the gym because it's just one of those songs, you know? So throughout most of the song, this guitar riff is just two palm muted quarter notes. Dum, dum, and then the rest is like whatever comes after it. And that's like pretty much through the whole song or most of the song at least. And and I, I really like that because it sort of, it, it drives the song forward with those two first palm muted notes and then kind of goes into the rest of the riff, but it really grabs your attention and keeps the song moving forward. So I, I like, and that's what I mean by he uses such simple techniques, but it makes it like, writes such effective riffs that really like grabs your attention and are still like, nasty yeah i like that the the guitar riff during the verse it's um it's more legato it's more elongated but it's the notes he chooses are very dissonant and sort of it but it it lays low enough for it to be underneath the vocals so you can really focus on the vocals so that's cool i i just love how everything in the arrangement fits together so well to be honest um the only thing is that like that breakdown is not Personally, not my favorite breakdown that they've done. I feel like that riff could definitely be heavier. So, um, but that's my only thing. Like, it's still heavy, but there's, I don't know. There's like, I, they have better breakdowns in different songs. So, that would be my one thing. But it's not bad by any means. Um, so, you know, don't get it twisted. Um, definitely adding this to my gym playlist for sure. Right before they get into the hook or the chorus, they they use more production techniques as far as the vocal chop that that's sort of like a riser into the the chorus i love i love the use of that in metal lately where they use modern like pop production techniques that that i think are really cool in the way that you can use them in metal and like combining those techniques makes it really interesting to to play around with and and just listen to as you know as a listener to these type of techniques within metal so i love that they use those sort of that vocal chop technique and risers to really kind of bring the song into your attention even more i mean the visualizer is really cool i know it's just a visualizer but like i can tell that's courtney and she slays like look at those boots man 
them boots are killing. But yeah, overall, I mean, I'm a I'm a big fan of it. So I'd be curious to know what you guys think of their new single. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have come this far, I appreciate every single one of you. If you feel like doing so, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate every single one of you for being here. I will see you guys in the middle of next week. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and start to your week. Have a good one. Oh, 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 oh,